What up, peeps? Mohaha coming at you with some Skyforce Reloaded, and uh, I got some requests on the last video showing the update to go over all the cards, and so we're going to do a card video and uh, kind of talk a little bit about some of the changes with the cards. Before I do that, I want to go in here real quick, check what I got for my gift, collect this, what's it going to be? So this has changed. This is something that's new out of the new update. Instead of just getting one box, you get to pick one of three. I don't know about you guys, I always pick the one top center for some reason. Max fire rate, that's my favorite temporary card. And uh, maybe we'll have a second to go into using it on stage. We'll try to go for stage 12 here in a second. But the main reason I want to do this video is I want to go over the cards and kind of talk about what they do. So we're going to go into the card library. I've got all of them so far. Uh, so far. I've got all of them. And uh, you can see the one that's activated down there on the bottom is the max fire rate. But let's start top left. Card numero uno. And uh, let's see. I'm touching. There we go. Larger hanger. And what this basically does is it increases your storage capacity for your aircraft to three. So if you're back here on the main screen, right there you can see 23 out of 23. Three of those is because I got the car. The other, I mean, I also bought the upgrade to get more aircraft, which I highly recommend doing. If you want to uh, spend a little bit of money on here, you can do planes generator down there at the bottom. It generates planes faster. But anyway, that card gives you three additional planes. Uh, let's look at the next one with the four leaf clover on it. Card drop rate increase, kind of self-explanatory, increases your chance of finding a card. In, uh, in one of the missions. Let's go back here and turn this guy over since we had it over. Let's look at this one. Lucky Shield. Basically, this guy activates. You got a 20% chance that he's going to activate when you get... Uh, when somebody shoots you and you get hit by something and it would be a kill shot So if it's just a hit that would do damage, it's not going to activate it only activates if it's a kill shot So it's great if you're playing limp berserker and you want to get that um, Untouched metal because uh, there's a good there's a 20% a chance that you may make it through even if you get hit and all right going on to the next one let's see reduced plane production time so this just means that instead of like i don't remember what the base time was i think it was like maybe five minutes every five minutes you get an airplane a new airplane made and i think this reduces it down to like three or something it doesn't say the exact times on here but it just makes it so that you can play more often so that the planes are produced uh more often so that you can keep going uh, five and seven, we're going to go over here to seven, uh, or no, six, my bad. Five and six are both, uh, support drones, and, uh, if you've watched me play, if you guys are on lower levels, you may not have support drones, but basically you, you find these cards, and they're going to put a support drone on either side of you. They're just a single straight shot, uh, kind of drone that sits on the side of your aircraft. A reduced upgrade installation time, so when you go to upgrade something in the shop, um, it just it's a lot faster getting that upgrade done um, Which is great if you don't want to gem out those uh, or if you don't want to uh, um, What do you uh, if you don't want to uh, rush those upgrades if you don't want to pay for the the rush on those upgrades uh, Faster human rescuing so when you hum hover over uh, the humans to pick them up out of the rounds out of the out of the rounds out of the stages uh, This basically picks them up faster uh, which is really beneficial if you haven't gotten all of the rescue human ones yet. All right, main weapon supercharge. This one's tricky. So um, I actually play using the pencil on an iPad Pro because I can keep my hand out of the way and I can see better. I like the maneuverability that way better. So I don't hardly ever use main weapon supercharge because you got to put two fingers on the screen at the same time. And when you do, your aircraft can't move. You lock in on navigation, but it charges up your weapon. And then when you release it, all of the all of the uh, bullets that you've saved up or all of the lasers that you've saved up and all that come out at the same time, creating one massively strong shot. So if you time it well and you're going up against somebody that's really strong or a section that you're having a difficult time getting through, it'll clear it out really fast, which can be beneficial, but it's huge risk. Like I said, you can't move when you use it, and if you charge for too long, then you will explode. So be careful using it, but that's what that one does. Uh, initial fire rate up, so basically this uh, increases your starting fire rate. It does not, it stacks with all of the uh, uh, weapon upgrades that you get during, uh, during the round, during the stage. Uh, sabotage disarming field on stage five so you know when you go into stage five they've got that big uh, disarming field that once you fly through it none of your weapons work well 
this card actually disables that. That doesn't mean that you're not going to get disabled on that on that ma on that round. Actually, what happens is you get a little ghostly little uh, thing that follows you around, and it's like this EMP shocking ghost that disables your aircraft's um, uh, uh, the, the, the firepower and everything. So you can dodge it, and it's possible to beat the level without ever getting touched by that thing. It's hard. I've done it, but it's not easy. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's what that does. And increased ship part drop rate. Increased ship part drop rate. Oh, okay, so this is uh, the parts that help you build new planes. Just like the other one a little while back increases the rate of dropped cards, this one increases the rate of dropped aircraft pieces. And we actually do have all of the aircraft now. I think I'll do the next video on that. Um, increased missile damage, kind of self-explanatory for the missiles that you fire off of your wingtips. It increases the damage on that. Uh, activate laser dispensers. So, um, you see those little dispensers sitting on the ground on some of the matches. And if you don't have any of the activates, because there's one for activate laser, there's one for activate mega bomb uh, dispenser. I'll let you read that real quick. And there's one for activate shield dispenser. And basically what that does is it turns those little gray platforms into a dispenser. You hover over them just like you do when you pick up people. And eventually it unlocks, uh, it releases one of these upgrades uh, for your, uh, one of these special weapons, whatever you want to call it, for your aircraft. Um, you do have to hover over it longer than you would for picking up people. So uh, you got to kind of plan that out a little bit, but that's what that one does. Longer rescue rope uh, lets you sit a little bit further out away from the humans that you're trying to pick up so that uh, you can collect them without having to be right like on top of them. Coupon, uh, upgrade prices reduced by 10%, kind of uh, self-explanatory. So the upgrades that you get on your aircraft they are reduced in cost by 10%. Uh, health regeneration. So if you take damage in uh, in your on your stage um, while you're flying around, you slowly uh, accumulate your health back up. You can get back up to 100%. But if you took damage and your health regenerates this way, it still even if you end with 100%, uh, you're still not getting the untouched uh, bonus. So I don't think you can get away with it that easy. Uh, energy shield to begin with, and so we've got three to begin with cards. Uh, the energy shield is the first one, the laser to begin with is the second one, and the mega bomb to begin with is the third one. And basically what this does is it gives one, it puts one in your inventory when you start out the match. Very useful uh, because I know that a lot of you guys, you got to balance out how many stars you get, how much you can spend stars and all that stuff. You don't really want to spend stars on expendable items like mega bombs, lasers, and shields if you don't have to. Um, increased planes speed, kind of self-explanatory. It makes your aircraft faster. Uh, there you go. That's an easy one. All right. This one was cool. This was the last one that I got. Score bonus, new weapon for the classic. So this being the last card, you get a 10% score bonus on top of your stuff. So a couple of you guys have asked, how do I get my score higher? This is one way you get it. You get this card and it increases your um, overall score by 10% instead of the normal little 1, 2, 3, 4%, whatever that you get. Uh, just by completing the level on top of that it takes the classic ship which is your red ship the one that you begin with and it puts a laser whip out in front of it now i've used it it's neat in concept it looks wicked cool um, but it's really not too practical the laser beam stops on the first target it doesn't penetrate and go and work its way through and in order to really get value out of it you have to move around a lot to whip the aircraft around to whip the laser around otherwise uh, you're just shooting on one target and you're gonna get uh, roasted uh, card drop rate increased. Uh, this uh, self-explanatory increases the amount of uh, cards. We borrowed the Joker card from the casino. Uh, but uh, there you go. If you pair that up with the Ace of Spades aircraft, which is a black aircraft, uh, then you have a much higher uh, chance of getting cards. The difficulty there is um, you got to balance that out because you're going to want to use that aircraft on a lower difficulty usually because you don't want to get shot. It's just as weak as Limp Berserker. One shot and it's dead. So um, playing with that Ace of Spades is risky. Uh, increased magnet power. Oh, these are the these are the uh, I'm sorry. These are the temporal cards. So these ones only last for a certain amount of time. So increased drop rate, increased magnet power for a short amount of time. 15 minutes, you get increased magnet uh, power. Uh, very useful if you're trying to get all the stars on a level. 
Uh, maximum fire rate uh, increases the fire rate to the max, so you don't have to worry about getting weapon upgrades in the match. Uh, in, uh, instant plane production. I don't even get that one anymore because my plane's maxed out, but uh, this gives you the ability to uh, instant finish an upgrade with uh, very little cost, like maybe three stars or five stars or something like that. Uh, instant upgrade installation. Actually, that's what that one does. Uh, the other one was uh, plane production. So uh, remember, I was talking about I've got 23 planes, and if you want to, if you uh, once you use a plane, instant plane production brings that plane right back. Instant upgrade is where you actually uh, can take off the time of your upgrade and uh, uh, speed it up without having to pay a whole bunch of stars to do it. And a random power up at mission start. So it'll either give you a shield, a laser, or a mega bomb before. The mission uh, starts so there you go those are all the cards let's back out of this and there you go I'm not exactly sure what the uh, the colors indicate on this thing but anyway so yeah I wanted to share these with you guys and uh, let you know what they think uh, let me know what your guys's favorite one is in the comments section below and uh, yeah anyway I appreciate you guys hanging out if you guys got any questions about them leave them in the comment section below Mwahaha. out